So glad you're here. This is the last Lumi Keys review that you will need to watch because I'm gonna be so comprehensive. I'm going to go into every aspect of the product and by the end, you'll know if this product is a good fit for you. I tested out the Lumi Keys product for around a month and I practiced around 30 minutes a day. Majority of that time was going through the course material and I even convinced my four-year-old son to try out the product as well. Spoiler alert, I give this product about four out of five stars, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to recommend this product to everybody. Make sure and stick to the end of the video so you can see why I give it that recommendation. Lumi Keys is an educational system for piano that is combination hardware and software. And the hardware is this specialized keyboard that lights up when it's in use, and it's meant to be used with an app. Specifically, you can have an iPhone, Android, or iPad, or whatever. And it's a combination of lessons and different exercises, as well as songs. As you can see, these are all the different content that's offered with that course. And additionally, they have these mini courses if you want to learn specific skills. Mostly it's like different genres and you know the 12 bar blues, which is kind of you know essential if you're getting into jazz piano. The main content of the app that gets the most love and attention is probably the songs. The songs have all the up-to-date technologies that the app has to offer, and it's the most sophisticated with the Lumi Keys keyboard. They also have some educational video games using the Lumi Keys that can be helpful in improving coordination and some other piano skills. All right, now let's get to the actual review of the product and let's start with the hardware. The hardware is comprised of the Lumi Keys keyboard and I'm gonna give it four out of five stars and this is why. One really cool part of the Lumi Key system is that the notes are color coded and they're color coded and lit depending on whether they're meant to be played right now. For example, these are lightly color uh, lit and this is more deeply lit. Um, because this is the next note in the scale. But um, for example, the F is always going to be green and that kind of just helps as you're learning the different notes to know like, okay, F is green. It's just another association for those of you who can see all the colors that is. Another awesome feature is that with that lighting up of the keys, the notes will actually light up right before you need to play them, which as a beginner, that's really nice to be able to have kind of a head start and helping you gain that muscle memory that you need. That's really another cool feature is sometimes when you play a song or you're in a learning course, they will light up the notes of the scale that you're going to be expected to be playing in that particular song. And in this scale module, they are lighting up just the notes of the G minor scale, which is pretty nifty. Another cool feature is that you can use your own DAW, even your own mobile DAWs with the Lumi Key system, or you can hook it up to your computer with a USB cable and play. And you can see that as I play, it's responding within FL Studio Mobile. And I have to use a special software to expose it as a MIDI controller. And I'm using MIDI Connector Free to do that. But using MIDI Connector Free, I can expose this Bluetooth device as a MIDI device that can be used in other programs, which is pretty cool. You may not know this, but the Lumi Keys is also compatible with Rolly Studio, which is actually a music making software that's completely separate from the learning program. With Rolly Studio, you are able to do additional functions such as um, pitch bend per note. You can shake the note as you press it down to give it a pitch bend, which is kind of cool. I gotta say it, the biggest problem I have with this keyboard is its price. It's very cool, very functional, but it's quite expensive for what it is. It is, right now it's on sale for $249. Uh, normally it's $299. Um, make sure to check the link in my description so you can see what the current price is because it's definitely subject to change. But for um, what you're getting, it's, it's quite expensive. And additionally, um, you can't just get the keys and use the software, you actually have to by the subscription, which is down here. So right, the solo membership is $6.67 a month. The family membership is $12.50. For the price of two Lumi Keys keyboards, you can actually get a fully featured MIDI controller like this one. And although the keys don't light up, you have way more options and capabilities than you get with the Lumi Keys. So the Lumi Keys, you really are paying a premium for those, that lighting up notes feature. One thing I noticed was that there is a significant dead zone within the notes. As you can see here, I have to press the note pretty far down before it even triggers that it was hit. And that means that it's really difficult to play dynamics um, correctly. Like there's really only really loud and really soft and not much you can do in between, which is kind of a bummer. 
And I also noticed that this dead zone issue became an issue for chord playing. And if you were playing, holding down all the notes of the chord, you can see that sometimes the notes would untrigger and re-trigger, which isn't a big deal. But since this is gamified, you would lose your note streak. And that was kind of irritating. Lastly, you can't do anything with it unless you have the Lumi Keys subscription. The Lumi Keys app is basically defunct. The only thing you have access to is twinkle, twinkle, little star, and that's it. You can kind of browse around the app, but you can't even really view what's in the content without purchasing a subscription. I don't see a huge problem with that. With the price tag of this device, I feel like that's kind of a problem, that you not only have to spend hundreds of dollars just to get the unit, you have to pay a subscription to be able to actually use this in, in any functional way, at least for educational purposes. But like I said, you can still use it as a MIDI controller, or if you, you have the Rolly Studio program, then you can use that for the specific Lumi Keys note bending. There's so many cool things about the Lumi Keys piano. It is really one of a kind as far as functionality, but it has some problems, the price being one, the dead zone, and just overall being kind of the feel of it not being that pleasant to play. So it gets four out of five stars in my book. Now let's talk about the learning modules. This is the tough one. I unfortunately give the learning system three out of five stars. Let's figure out why. Firstly, it's undeniable that the production value of the LumiKeys educational system is fantastic. This is a video of part of the course, and as you can see, the teacher is showing how to play a particular piece, and overlaid on top of that is the cascade view, so you can see directly how the notes are corresponding to what the teacher is playing, which is just amazing, and this is you know typical of the course. The videography, the production value, it's really high, and I think I would be remiss not to mention that. Lumi did a wonderful job at selecting teachers that are not only easy to understand and teach things clearly, but also are very approachable, which just makes the course content that much more appealing. One really cool feature about the learning modules is that as the teacher is explaining a concept or showing you how to play a particular piece, the notes will light up on your Lumi keys, which just makes the lesson content more immersive and cohesive. Related to that, the teachers will actually wait for you just to make sure that you are matching finger positions. I'll show you what I mean. To me, this is awesome because you can see their finger positions and you can match their, your finger positions exactly. Really cool feature. One thing that turned out to be really frustrating to me was that there is no customization of the player within the lesson module. You can only turn on the finger positions or the notes. This was really frustrating because if you go to the song portion of Lumi Keys and you you know play a song, you can see all this customization that you can do. You can change the speed of the song. You can turn on or off a metronome or you can even change the music style to be more closer to sheet music. And I found that while I was going through the lesson modules, there were several times, oh, I just wanna play this slower. I'm not able to practice this effectively. And because you can't rewind except in 10 second increments, it was really difficult to practice small sections of the piece, which just made the experience pretty frustrating to try and learn something. As a student trying to learn the content, the inability to customize the speed just made it really frustrating. Sometimes the lessons would go half speed for you, but that was it. You couldn't like go so subtly faster from there and without that customization, it made it very difficult and frustrating to learn some of the content. And because of that, I would just get to the end of it and say, all right, I'm done because I can't really practice this effectively. And I feel like that really hampered my learning. Another problem, bugs. One problem I saw all the time was that the audio and video during the lessons would become out of sync. And because this is gamified, it means that you will miss your note streak or you won't get a perfect for your note regarding the rhythm. There was a workaround, you could go forward and backward 10 seconds, but it was still really annoying. Wait for it, bam. This no internet connection error happened to me frequently, and I can't tell you how demoralizing it was to be in the middle of a practice session. You know, I had already gotten into the mental space and I had allocated time for it, and then I'd run into this error, and sometimes if I switched from Wi-Fi to the cell network or vice versa, it would fix it but sometimes not. And when there was, you know, back end problems, then my practice session was over. And that was, 
you know, really disheartening. You just don't expect that from practicing a musical instrument. You expect that when you're in the zone that you're going to be able to practice. So when this happened, it was a problem. I think this is actually a solvable problem. Instead of relying on a constant internet connection, if there was a way to cache the lessons ahead of time onto your device, but as it stands, this really interrupted the flow of things. Now, what I'm about to talk about, I feel is the biggest problem with the lesson modules that come with your LumiKey subscription. And I'm not a pro piano player, but I've taken piano lessons and I've gone through online courses. And so I have a little bit of perspective on what you're getting with the LumiKey subscription and specifically what you're not getting. The Cascade view really falls flat as far as trying to learn music theory. And they really try in the course. The teachers are excellent trying to teach these principles, but the actual application, the actual learning section doesn't have it. Here are a list of piano skills that are more or less necessary to develop inside piano, but also even just your skills as a musician. Now, as far as coordination goes, Lumi Keys is great. Your eyes are seeing the notes as they come down in the cascade view and your hands have to touch them in time. That's like coordination that's absolutely necessary for learning piano. And you also learn that finger gapping that's super necessary, like the feel of like, okay, this is a fifth, this is a third, this is an octave those muscle memory techniques are super important as you're learning the piano. But I was really disappointed with everything else. For example, as I was practicing, I noticed that I really wasn't stretching that internal sense of rhythm that I've noticed as I've been practicing other instruments. And that's because the way Lumi Keys is set up, that visual cascade view, I just felt like I was just trying to hit the notes, like I was playing a video game and I wasn't checking in and stretching that muscle where I, I am the timekeeper and trying to make sure that I'm playing in time. And chords, there's a lot of cool chord information, but my problem with it was that after they would teach you the chords, they would take you right to the cascade view and this view, it makes it very difficult to see the intervals between the notes. And so you can see a bunch of bars and I can't look at that and say, oh, that's a G major. You have to go down to the keys, but when you're playing a song, you're not paying attention to that. You're just trying to, you know, madly trying to hit the right notes. Additionally, I think that this could be mitigated a little bit if during the chord lessons, if they had some text saying, this is a G major off to the side or something like that, but there wasn't that. And so it just felt like the lessons, although they were good talking about the different chords and the, the inversions and all these other techniques and theory that I wasn't really internalizing it. And so it was kind of monkey see monkey do. And so I, I give again, partial credit for the chords. Obviously, you're not really learning sight reading when you're doing this cascade view. I mean, you can't go run to the bookstore, get a, you know, a music compilation of your favorite artist and play it at home because it's not going to be in that case cascade view. It's going to be in traditional sheet music or at least in 2023. On top of that, they did try and teach music theory. And this is where I was frustrated. They would teach you, okay, this is a half note. This is a quarter note. And then in that same lesson, when they, you tr are asked to apply it, they bring you to the cascade view. So it's basically, they put all this information in your head and you just throw it out your brain immediately because you're not applying it at all. And the length of the bars, like at least for me, maybe other people are different. I couldn't equate, okay, that's a quarter note, that's a half note, that's a 16th note. Again, I was just holding the notes. You know, I had this eye hand coordination thing going on where I'm pressing the notes to try and match it to the length of the bars, just like I was playing that Dance Dance Revolution game a long time ago. So that kind of coordination, not that internal like, okay, this is a half note, this is a 16th note. And you know, they would try to treat, teach accidentals and all these things. And then again, they would bring you to that cascade view. So even though there's some really cool things about the lesson modules, there's some really big shortcomings, I feel. And I don't think that they're deal breakers. I think they, they can be overcome with updates to the learning modules. But for now, I'm gonna give the learning modules a three out of five stars. All right, let's get to the strongest part of the Lumi Key system, and that is the songs. To me, one of the killer features of Lumi Keys is the ability to change the different types of note visualizations. And this is the cascade view. This is kind of Lumi Key's main view that it's all in the course content. It's the primary one that you're gonna see but you can actually change different, a different one, even mid song. So let's say you're doing the cascade view, you can go to rainbow, which it's pretty similar to cascade view, except it's now horizontal, but it's, it's moved the notes to be on the, the ledger, which this is matching just normal sheet music ledger. Um, it doesn't have note durations except by the length of the bar. So, um, but it is, as you go down through the modes, it gets more progressively like sheet music. So like, color color note you have 
your traditional ledger and you have the treble clef, your key signature, and your, your normal note heads that show you what rhythm they are. The difference being that these notes, um, they're color coded to correspond with the notes, the colors on the piano, uh, on the keyboard I should say, that um, so that can help you know which notes they are um, more intuitively. And then lastly you have classic where it's more traditional sheet music and except now you are following this yellow bar and this will tell you where you are in the music at any given time but otherwise it's just normal sheet music to me this is a killer feature um, it just really allows different learners to learn the piano and get used to the piano in many different ways and if you want to transition to sheet music that option is there if you wanted to practice that way super cool one feature that I absolutely loved was the ability to change the tempo even in the middle of a song and that includes any of the accompaniment they slow down appropriately so that you can practice along with the full set of backing music. This was a game changer for my son who you can see is playing here and although he's not 100% accurate he's actually following along with the notes and hitting them reasonably accurately and it's really because the ability to change the speed that allowed that to happen. One really cool feature is the song mode allows you to choose which part you want to practice, whether you want to practice the left part or the right part. Rather than crowding the entire space with both parts, you can isolate it. And so let's say we are on the left part here. And this, these, this whole section is just left hand. You can see that everything corresponds to the left part. So here's the bass cleft, for example. And if you wanted to change it you can go back and say okay now I'm ready to practice the right hand and you go back to practice and it's just cool because it allows you to really isolate the different parts more easily and to me that's helpful as a beginner instead of having everything all at once and not knowing which hands should do which part they kind of split it out to make it easier to practice the song pretty cool wait mode is awesome it allows you to pause the progress of the song and waits for you to hit the right note so you can at any tempo learn the layout of the music and get that muscle memory down this is really helpful for my son but also for me as you're just trying to learn a difficult song lumi keys is gamified it is more fun to practice a song and and enhance your muscle memory as opposed to just staring at a piece of sheet music one problem with the songs is that they do have the connectivity issues that i've mentioned before Another problem, and this is more of a nitpick, I wish you could disable the Lumi keys lighting up prior to you hitting the notes. It's not a big deal because it's very helpful as you're trying to learn, but if you're trying to get past the point where you're relying on, you know, just following the flashing lights to where you can actually understand which notes are which and be able to find them easily, I wish I could do that, but unfortunately there's currently no feature to be able to disable the pre-lighting as the notes come down. So although the song portion is really cool, there's still some room for improvement. And because of that, I'm gonna give the song portion of the Lumi Key system four and a half stars. Super Luminal is an embedded video game within the Lumi system, and it's actually really cool. You're trying to shoot these asteroids as they come closer to you, and it moves you through different drills to help with different piano skills, such as going up and down scales and it also can switch between you know, the C major scale and the G major scale so you can learn the different notes. And so it's really great for learning that coordination. And in fact, this game was really important for my son to maintain any interest in the system because it was, well, you know, much more fun than playing a song to him. And he was actually able to increase his coordination. I don't know if it was the coordination is musical at this point, it's really, you know, there's flashing lights, you're trying to hit the flashing lights, but at least he's getting some coordination to say, okay, um, this is a keyboard and I'm going up and down these scales, I'm moving my fingers in a certain way. So I think that's better than nothing for sure. One bummer about Superluminal is that you can't customize the game speed, which is a bummer because my son was only able to participate through the training mode, and I think that he could have learned more if you could customize the game speed to be as easy as possible, and that way he could have more time to react. This is Springboard, and its killer feature is that it's really just helping the, the user learn how to play the rhythm of a particular piece and it varies in difficulty and it's really just meant for one note at a time but um, it's just like getting you used to like doing different rhythms it's not really teaching you music theory in any sense of the word but just like you know hearing the music and you know being able to like 
hit it at a certain particular time. One problem with, with Springboard is I think it has a lot of potential, but it, it doesn't really focus on note duration at all. Like I'm, I'm just hitting, hitting the notes. I'm not holding these notes and it doesn't really matter, but you're not really learning the length of the note, which to me is like a big part of rhythm. So the video game sections are really cool. There's a lot of functionality that's really innovative. There's just a couple things that I wish were different. So I'm gonna give this four and a half stars. Let's talk about the scales and chords module. The chords and scales section of the song I was really impressed with. And one of the primary cool features about it is that it lights up the scale as you're trying to play it. So this is G minor. you know, it highlights the, you know, selected note and you can see it on the screen. It shows you the notes and, and the different colors associated with those notes. And you can select different, you know, scales and it'll automatically, you know, light up just those notes, which is really cool. And what's also cool is that once you have the basic down, you can challenge yourself using these in built in challenges. So it's just very full featured if you want to learn different scales. The G major, like the chords one is similar, you'll play it and then it'll walk you through the arpeggio. You can switch between keys really easily and to change the different chords and to do a challenge which just is similar to the scales. To me it's as full featured as you could want for a scales and chords learning module. Really cool how it's integrated with Lumi, so definitely five out of five stars for this portion of Lumi Keys. So after doing all the math, I tried to score every individual section and assign different weights to them based on how important I felt each section was. And you can see all that here. So this is the final score that I give the Lumi Keys educational system. Now the real question is, would I recommend the Lumi Keys educational system to a friend? And I think the answer is a bit nuanced. I think it really depends on your goals. If your goal is to not really fuss about music, you like music, you are appreciate it, but you don't want to learn all the music theory. You just want to play some songs that you like. Lumi Keys could be a fantastic resource for you. You kind of have to be careful there because their catalog isn't infinite. But if you like a bunch of popular songs, chances are that they have it. You can search their catalog and see if they have it. It's difficult for them to add new songs. It's kind of a process. They can't just add anything. If your songs are in that list, you know, the popular songs that you really want to learn, then Lumi Keys is fantastic. However, you might have different goals. Let's say you want to be a musician or you want to have at least a deep appreciation for music. Let's say you want to play an instrument deeply. You want to understand that instrument and play difficult pieces. Maybe you're trying to learn piano. Maybe you're trying to learn something else. Or if you are trying to learn piano, let's say you want to learn chords and comping, or you want to play difficult classical pieces and being able to understand the sheet music really well. Or if you want to learn to sight read where you're in church and you have a piece of music put in front of you and you got to be able to play it. Or maybe you are a music producer or you want to be a music producer and you want to make your own tracks and make your own music and write your own songs and learn about chords and, and phrasing and learn how to put music together. I think if those are your goals, then Lumi Keys, I can't recommend it as a resource. And it's not super fun to say, but that's what it is for me. As a note though, I'm not a complete beginner when it comes to music or piano. I have some basic piano skills, and so I might not be the target audience for the Lumi Keys system. I did try though to expose it to my son who's four years old, and some days he was interested in it, some days, not so much. Like this day, he had socks on his hands and he, and it just didn't go over very well that day. But I was trying to introduce him to music because you know he's very young and I want music to be a part of his life. And my results were mixed. Like he, he was able to learn how to play the cascade view and time the notes and press the buttons at the right time. And you know part of what helped him was that super luminal game. As the notes came by, he would um, you know learn to press the buttons. And I, I just don't know if that was eye hand coordination or if it was you know any kind of musical sense going on there i mean only time will tell so overall i think that if you're a casual appreciator of music and you just want something fun to play it's an expensive investment but i think that lumi keys is a good option but if you're really trying to develop your musicianship and you're serious about music i would consider other options that are a bit more inexpensive for starting out your musical journey thanks for watching So one of the purposes of Lumi Keys is to teach you how to play piano and also learn about music theory. And as part of that, they deliver a curriculum that's broken so far into six different stages, which 
each stage has multiple courses, which I'll show you more about in a second. And just to warn you, I'm gonna be very detailed in going through the course. I really wish I could have done this before um, when I was trying to look at, at, into this product. And so I'm gonna do that for you um, so you can see what's in the educational curriculum. But um, if you don't want that level of detail, there's chapters in this video and you can feel free to jump to the sections that interest you most. So stage one is really just showing you the basics of how the Lumi key system works, as well as some you know, very basic music theory. And um, you'll kind of see the same pattern though repeated throughout all the different stages in that they show you kind of an explanation of different concepts and as well as demonstrating different, you know, con demonstrating those concepts. And then they follow that up with some examples of different songs that illustrate those concepts. And then they give you tutorials on how to play them. And lastly, they will follow up all of that with a different challenge where they kind of tie all the different concepts of a certain course or module. So um, in the very first stage, they it's really just like learning how to use Lumi keys as well as some super basic theory, um, some very basic songs. And then um, after that, they give you, you know, different challenges. And then they get you to stage two where they elaborate on some different concepts. So this is getting into different, uh, they, they teach you like different hand positions um, as you're playing the, the piano and some really kind of elementary music concepts that, as, that you'll need to l understand if you're learning for the very first time, as well as like how to understand how music works a little bit. Like for example, call and response and um, learning about um, rests or pauses as, as it calls it and what dynamics are and um, what pitch is and how you can identify pitch and um, they kind of built that off of um, different uh, the earlier sections and what octaves are and they um, you might have noticed they kind of challenge you by learning songs with that require two fingers and then they go up to three four and eventually they'll go up to five. And, and right here is important. They introduce scales and um, they kind of show you the concept of like how to play, you know, when you're playing a scale, which fingers to use. And they'll use that throughout the rest of the tutorials. And kind of at the end of this, they get to twinkle, twinkle, little star and playing with your fi five fingers. And then they introduce the left hand. So stage two is kind of a big one and showing kind of the basics of the piano. Um, and then they talk about the music staff, um, which I'll talk more about that later in this, um, in this review. And then they talk about, um, they start introducing concepts of rhythm, which are very important time signatures and measures. So other music theory things that are important to understand if you're going to play any kind of music and they go into, you know, more rhythms and then they, they, they do tutorials for London Bridges Falling Down, Shotgun, and this pattern kind of repeats. They introduce more dif different rhythms, um, different concepts like whole notes. Uh, they've already gone through several, um, and, more, uh, and, and it gets progressively more advanced, and um, they demonstrate all, all of these together with a bunch of classical songs. And then stage four is focusing on, well, the last one is um, talking about notes and rhythms. This one's focused on key scales and chords. And you'll see that they talk about the different scales, um, some music theory like accidentals, and then what chords are, and then they'll start introducing you to different scales and chords like the G, G major and D major. And it just repeats that. Um, again, some music theory right here um, how to play 16th notes. And so that pattern repeats all the way up till stage five, where they introduce triads, major chords, minor chords, and just, they all, I should say that in my experience, they're kind of showing you all this already, but they kind of put names to some of the concepts and diminished triads and inversions. Um, and this one, um, they, they do inversions all throughout um, the course, but then they finally talk about what that is here in stage five. Arpeggios, and then stage six is 
where they go through um, even more and just kind of repeating the same thing um, that we've gone through already. And this one's quite long and that's it. Um, now besides that, that's just like the main learning content, but there are actually lessons if you do the search button down here. There are lessons and mini courses and I'll show you what some of these are. And these are kind of cool, like they, they talk about um, a different music concept just like uh, in isolation, like the blues. There's a couple of blues um, mini courses and um, they, like here it is, 12 bar blues. And they will demonstrate different aspects of, of that particular concept and give you tutorials on that single subject. And the videos are much shorter, um, but if, if you're kind of interested in one music concept, there's a couple of those, but also there's quite a few more in-depth tutorials for playing um, different songs like reggae. Uh, I mean, reggae is a, you know, a genre obviously, but you know, what is love um, and take on me, stuff like that. Um, so besides that, um, you know, you can see the lessons kind of in isolation if you wanted to, but it's really, that's, you know, what I've already covered, but, um, that's, that's the curriculum that's available through Lumi Keys is basically those mini courses. And then that main set of curriculum that goes through those six stages.